Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabtu fillah The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa salam said ittaqillah haytha ma kunt wa tabi' sayyiat hasana tamhuha wa khalik an-nas bi khulq hasan Ruahu Ahmad wa Tirmidhi as-Sahih wa fi Sahih al-Jami' In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam it shows us the importance of istiqama of being sincere on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being uh, upright and straight in righteousness and this is an admonition for us and it's an advice for us to follow istiqama to come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and return to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala if we've gotten far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the Prophet alayhi salatu wa said attaqullah haytha ma kunt fear Allah wherever you can fear Allah wherever you are wa tabu sayyat hasana and follow up your sins with something with a good deed and it will expiate it and treat people with righteous uh, good manners so what we learn from this is that that istiqama for one we learn the importance of following up our sins with a good deed so for example if you're in a situation and you do something wrong you watch uh, something muharram you uh, touch something muharram you eat or drink and partake in something muharram then follow it up with something good that doesn't mean become lackadaisical and just say well I'm gonna do a good deed right after I do this wicked sin no but what it means is you still have hope never give up on Allah Azza wa Jal that istiqama that istiqama ala deenillah subhanahu wa ta'ala has nothing but fawa'id for you it has nothing but benefit for you so if you commit a sin then expiate it with something righteousness with some some righteousness uh, pray rakatain salli to prayer units do some charity do something good to follow up the evil deed that you did in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said wa khalaq an-nas bi khulq hasan this is so important that we also a part of this istiqama a part of to, uh, a part of of uh of, of being straight and a part of taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is having good manners that this is one of the best deeds you can do that being upright and being straight and treating people with goodness giving salams uh, 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 doing small kindnesses to people helping people when they're in need and when they're in difficulty and just being an all-around good person and speaking good to people by having good manners and dealing with good manners this is the best dawah Illallah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's one of the best ways to invite people to Allah and to invite people back to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Mithalin for example the one who has good manners that is in, uh, dealing with non-Muslims perhaps this will be a reason for them to take more interest in Islam or perhaps this will be a reason for them to embrace Islam because of your good righteous manners another example is the example of the one who perhaps they uh, are Muslim and they're dealing with other Muslims. Maybe this is a person of the Sunnah, a person who loves the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and not a person of whims and de desires, a person who loves Elm and a person who's un Elm and Fiqh, and a person who follows the Minhaj of the Salaf. And if they treat others with righteous deeds and have good manners, then perhaps others will take heed and they will benefit and say, I know and so and so, and he's from Ahl Sunnah, and I have an interest in coming back to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wa salam. So, this is what is imperative for us to have good, righteous conduct, good manners, be a source of khair and a source of da'wah for the people. Don't be a way and a means of moving away people from the Sunnah of the Prophet. Exhibit the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Ma min shayin akkulu fi mizan al mu'min yawm al qiyamah min husnu khuk wa inna allaha yubghidhu al fahish al badhi. The Prophet alayhi afdhu salatu wa sallam said, There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of, a, uh, of the believer than husnu khuk wa inna allaha yubghidhu al fahish al badhi. 
So we know and we understand and we learn from that that good manners is nothing but good. And good manners is a part of istiqama ala deenillah. And, and good manners is a, is a means to get you to Jannah. And good manners is the sifat, one of the sifat of the mu'mineen. And good manners is that which entails only righteousness. It only entails righteousness and good that you treat people with goodness and kindness and righteousness and be a source of good. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Anything I said that was incorrect was from the self and the shaitan was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.